one other handle that you can pull, which is kind of fun. It's, um, it's a double handle. So I do this one more time. Squeeze out a coil, pull. All right, so with this one, I'm gonna pull this handle extra long here. Then I'm gonna put the handle together, kind of squeeze it, press it together. So I've got kind of a double handle right now. Then I'm going to pull this just from the top. So I'm not, I don't want to get into the sides anymore because I want to keep that seam. But I'm going to pull from with my fingers in the back, my thumb in the front, and just pull it a little bit longer, also compressing that handle together. All right, now this I can use for this pitcher handle. So I'll let this set up. All right, so I'm gonna cut this handle, get that excess clay off the end there. And then I'm just kind of measuring the length, cut a little bit from the top, an inch, the top. Okay, now I wanna round out the bottom here. Kind of paddle it so it's rounded. I'm going to do the same to the top. I'm going to first squeeze it together, then paddle it. All right, now I'm going to add some slip and score. So I mapped out here where I wanted to place the handle on the top and the bottom before I cut the handle off the chunk. Okay, so now I've got slip. I've scored this. I'm gonna start with my upper attachment. I'm making sure that my handle is opposite my spout. I'll bring down the bottom part here. Okay. And once I have it attached, I want to work on this profile shape. So I'm going to look at the negative space between the handle and the pot. And right now I want it a little bit closer to the pot. So I'm going to push and lift towards the pot. Then I'm going to get my finger in here. And I'm really going to look at this negative space. And I'm gonna do this from both sides to make sure that I have it the way that I like it on both sides. I do the same from this side. All right. Then I'm just gonna clean up this attachment on the bottom a little bit and on the top. If you close up the seam at all, the seam line, um, anywhere that you want to retrace it, there's a tool that's a rubber tip tool with a beveled edge. So one edge is beveled, the other edge is just um, flat or slightly rounded. That beveled edge slips down inside of that seam really well and it'll help kind of redefine that seam. All right, then to clean up all of the slip that's kind of oozed out, just take your <clears throat> brush, a little bit of water. Same with the top part. Okay, this pitcher now is ready for firing. 